Sunday evening, as visitors leave, there will still be many butterflies left in the room, probably anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 butterflies in there. Come Monday morning, while they're all asleep, early, early in the morning, we are uh, going to go around and collect all the butterflies. Uh, our whole team of employees, plus a few volunteers are coming. We'll go in with nets, and while they're sleeping, while they're very still, we go in and we're able to pick them up very carefully and put them into a little glassine envelope. And once we do that, we put that those envelopes into a cooler. So in a sense, they are they're resting. It's just like a normal nighttime rest for them because they're at a low temperature and that's what would happen overnight. We will ship them out overnight and they will get very early in the morning. They will get to the San Antonio Zoo because the San Antonio Zoo has the same permits as we do. They have an exhibit very much like ours and that exhibit is, is ongoing and it lasts longer. So each one of these butterflies, when it gets there, the packages will be opened and the staff there are just so, so gracious. They greet these butterflies, they open them up, they put them immediately onto some type of food so that it's like they're waking up for the day and they've experienced no bad harmful effects from that being in the envelope, it keeps their wings from moving, that's why we do that, and in that cool temperature, of course, they're going to rest. So I can exhibit that, I can do some demonstration here with a butterfly as how that would happen. And of course, when I hold it, holding it like this, holds the wings together and it calms the butterfly, then they won't be moving their wings, and very carefully just sliding it into this glassine envelope and not damage the wings and then just in this resting state they will go into a cooler and stay cool and rest and sleep on the overnight journey. We put him in the refrigerator and he would actually just stop moving completely.